Well, today I'm in a new spot uh, because in a creek nearby, I uh, found a few little bits of uh, epidote crystals. Nothing crazy, but there were signs nonetheless. So I figured I'd come in here and see if I could find where any are coming from and see if I could find some nicer pieces. And uh, I already found a couple pieces here. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, there's some nice epidote on there. Kind of glare in there. And this piece has some epidote going into the quartz, actually. Just in that corner there. You kind of see it. But these are actual crystals, not just like unikite that I normally find. So that'll be pretty cool, and it'd be cool to find uh, some epidote going through the quartz, like some clear quartz, so I could make a pretty cool cab out of that. Just sounds interesting, so yeah, let's see what we can find today, and hopefully we'll find something nice. Well, this one's kind of neat. It's got a bunch of epidote crystals all through it, but it's, they're really tiny, so not really worth collecting, but still pretty cool. You can see them sparkling there. Well, this is actually a really nice looking chunk. You can see all that calcite in there. And I think that's a good sign for a pocket inside there. Like, uh, there might be some pretty nice epidote crystals once you dissolve that calcite. And uh, there's all kinds of chlorite all around it. I believe that's chlorite. I think that's gonna be pretty neat. And it goes all the way through there, I think. Let's see if I can flip it. Yeah, you can see it sticking out right there too. So, yeah, I'll probably break this one up and take it home so I could put it in some acid. Yeah, that's a pretty nice chunk. Well, there's uh, the calcite that I broke out. You can see there's some pretty nice chunks there, but it didn't go all the way through like I thought. It was just a kind of a chunk on both sides. But you can see this is the other side. And it has some pretty nice looking epidote crystals in there. There's one there, 
few pretty much all over so once I dissolve it, it should be a pretty nice cluster so yeah let's see if we can find some more it's pretty pretty nice I haven't found that nice of a chunk before hopefully they turn out nicely once they're dissolved Well, this piece looks like it has some chloride on it, so it might have some epidote, who knows. And, uh, yeah, there's lots of chloride on it, for sure. And it looks like there's a couple small quartz crystals in there, too. It's kind of crazy. I think that's quartz. Might be epidote. I don't know if you can see that. There's, like, one right there. One right here. Huh. It's pretty strange. See if I can find some water to wash it off. See if I could see what it is. This is actually pretty cool. This is, uh, it's got quartz crystals on it. Like, uh, they're kind of covered in chlorite, but. If I could find some, like a decent pocket, might be some pretty cool, cool points. So, yeah. And, uh, lots of the time in these chlorite zones around here and, uh, places with epidote, the, they'll have some really nice inclusions in them, so. Yeah, I'll definitely be looking out for that. Very cool. Well, there's some pretty strange textures here in the rock. Like, you can see there's a big white vein here. And, uh, most of this area is actually a granite-type rock. You can see here. And, like, on the other side of this white vein, you can see it's slightly metamorphosed into, like, a myelinite. Not quite a myelinite, but, you know, that kind of texture. You can see those little uh, bits of feldspar in there, little bubbles. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. And this one's actually got an interesting texture to it too. It's like little bits of quartz in there, and lots and lots of epidote, and biotite. It's just really dense with quartz and uh, epidote and biotite compared to all the rest of the rock anyways and yeah there's lots of these little white veins I don't know what what exactly it is it's probably like a mix of the quartz and feldspar just where it's separated out pretty strange maybe that's what they'd call apolite I'm not sure but, yeah, it's pretty cool. Look at this piece of granite. It's got some really crazy folds in it. I don't know if you can see those. But, yeah, I don't know if it would be considered a granite or a nice. Because it's definitely had some kind of a folding effect in there. So, yeah, I'm not too sure. But... It's kind of cool though, it's not like most of the rock around here. If I look in the walls just uh, down here, it just looks like regular granite. But maybe some of the stuff up higher has been uh, changed a bit or something, metamorphosed. It's kind of strange though. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's a pretty nice chunk. Lots of nice quartz bits in there. You can kind of see the flash on that one there. There's a little one here. So yeah. It's definitely interesting. And they look like they're Tess and Habit too, which is pretty neat
Well, you can see this pegmatite here, and I followed it down, and it goes along this ridge, and then it kind of curves off down there. And uh, there's actually little bits of sunstone in here, and I actually found some black or gray feldspar. So that'd be pretty cool if it had the hematite in it to make it have the shiller that sunstone does. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. And there's lots of biotite mica in here too. Let's see if you can see that. It's got some shiny faces. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, I was hoping to find some quartz crystals in here or something, but not really seeing anything right away, so I'll keep on scratching at it and see if I'll come across something. Be definitely a place you want to look is near a pegmatite. Well, this rock's quite interesting. It's got some big chunks of amphibole in there. I'm not sure if it was brecciated or if it just formed like that. It might be like an amphibolite. But yeah, just really cool how the quartz in there is like the white and the black is just so, it just stands out. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, I like that one. thought this piece was kind of interesting. It's got little blades of epidote going through there. They're not really well formed crystals but still pretty cool how they're going through the granite there. And there's little ones all through here and stuff. Might be pretty cool once it's cleaned up. Well, I think that's it for today. I'm gonna move on from this spot and check out some other ones. See if I can find some new places to go. So yeah, uh, if you like the video, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll have a slideshow at the end of the video showing basically what the finds look like all cleaned up. And hopefully I'll have that calcite removed too, depending on how long it takes. But. Yeah, thanks for watching.